Hello everyone. In this video, we will learn a method to find the rational numbers in form of p upon q when the decimal expansion of it is given. For example, I have been given a number 0.001 and there is a bar over it which means it is a recurring. Now I want to represent this as a number in p upon q format where q is not equal to 0. p and q are both integers and q not equal to 0. How do we do that? So let's learn the method. The step 1 is first assume this number to be x. So x is equal to 0 0.0011001 001 and so on. Now there are three digits repeating. So what I am going to do is I am going to multiply this x by 10 raised to 3 or 1000 because three zeros. So 1000x would be equal to 1.001001 and so on. It is not going to stop. Now can I write this as 1 plus 0 0.001001 and so on. Correct. So but this is this is same as x because x is equal to 0 0.001001 and so on. So this becomes 1 plus x. Correct. So what did I do? First I assumed this as x. I multiplied by 1000. Why 1000? Because there were three digits repeating. So I wanted three zeros here. So 1000. Once I multiplied by 1000, I got this one here and again this is here. But this is repeating. So it is not going to end. This is infinitely going to continue. So this would be written as 1 whole plus 0 point and again this continuing. But 0 0.0010010001001 continuing is equal to x. So that's what we have assumed. So we replaced this number as x. So now we have got an equation which we can solve. This x goes that side. So here it's plus, here it subtracts. So it will be 999x is equal to 1. So now this 999 goes that side, it will divide this one. And therefore x is equal to 1 upon 999. But x is this. And therefore 0 0.001 bar is equal to 1 upon 999. Did you get this? We will take one more example and we will understand this better. Let us find 0 0.3 bar. Now we know the answer for this. Let us check whether we get the same answer. So first thing, let us assume this as x. x is equal to 0 0.33 and so on. Now how many digits are repeating? 1. So we will multiply by 10. 10 has 1 0. So 10x is equal to 3.33333 and so on. Which is equal to 3 plus 0 0.3333 and so on. But this 0 0.3333 is equal to x. So that would be 3 plus x. So 10x is equal to 3 plus x. We will solve the equation. x goes that side becomes minus. So 10x minus x is equal to 9x. 9x is equal to 3. And now 9 goes this side, divides and hence x is equal to 3 upon 9 or that is equal to 
1 upon 3 and therefore we see that 0 0.3 bar is equal to 1 upon 3 and we had seen this example in earlier video and that's correct there are some more variations to this when we have different types of numbers let's take one example of each of them let's take a number Two point twenty six and both these digits repeating. Now, if you see here, there is a small change, which is there is a whole number. In earlier one, there was no whole number; it was zero point something. Here, there is a whole number. So the process initial remains same. So x is equal to two point two six two six two six and so on. How many digits repeating? Two. So we should multiply by 100, 100 has two zeros. So 100x is equal to 226.262626 and so on. Here is the small change now. Here we want after plus we want 2.26. We want the x. And hence here it should be 224. Till now what we did, 226 plus 0 point, but we don't want 0 point, we want 2 point. So that 2 point we have written here and then remaining is 224 here. And therefore 100x is equal to 224 plus x. X goes that side becomes minus 99x is equal to 224 and therefore x is equal to 224 divided by 99. And hence 2.26 bar here is equal to 224 upon 99. Got it? Okay. Let's take one more variation. 0 0.317 and 17 is repeating. So this 3 is not repeating. Only this 17 is repeating. Initial step is same. x is equal to 0 0.317171 and so on. 2 digits repeating so here should be 100x two zeros 100x is equal to 31.71717 and now this seems totally different we wanted 31731 this is 717 so we what we want here is plus 0 0.31717 but here it is 7 so here what we have should have is 31.4 the 31.4 plus 0 0.3 31.7 and then this so this is the only caution you have to take when you are splitting this number And therefore, 100x is equal to 31.4 plus x. x goes that side, it becomes 99x. 99x is equal to 31.4 and therefore, x is equal to 31.4 upon 99 or I can write this as 314. I will multiply this here 10, so I have to multiply in denominator also by 10, on 990. I am sure you have liked the video. Hit the like button and leave your views in the comment section below. Do watch our other videos on this topic. Subscribe our channel and click the bell icon to get notifications whenever we upload new videos. You may also download the QTube app at the link provided in the video description. Till we meet again, 
गुड बाय